Don't you have enough of losing on time because it took too long to checkmate with your rook? First thing to know, a rook cannot checkmate a king that stands in the middle of the board. Let's learn together the box technique. Start with this rook move that creates the first imaginary box in your mind. King here and now using your king is a must. King goes back and whenever you can make this imaginary box smaller, do it. Like here after rook f3. Second rule, if you can't tighten this box with your rook, it's time to use your king. He comes back and we have the same problem. So what do we do? A king move again. And when he plays this, now I see an opportunity to tighten that box with this move. King c4. I see again a chance to make it smaller. Rook here. This king looks like an actor in Walking Dead. You simply repeat this pattern. If the rook cannot make the box smaller, it means I have to bring my king. King c5. Now I tighten. He goes there. I can't tighten it. Boom. I bring my king. And if he goes there, you know what I'm gonna do? I tighten again. King c7. I bring the king. King here. Here, easy. I can't tighten, so what do I do? I move my king. And here, one more chance. You manage to block the king on the last rank. He goes there, only move. Can we tighten the box? No, so we bring the king. He comes back, and now this rook cannot slide here, because the king would take it. So we keep the rook on the same rank to have that option. If he comes here, checkmate. If he tries to escape, we now chase him with our king. And whenever his king is in front of ours, we slide the rook and win the game.